Welcome back, fellow wanderers, to Alluring Atlas, where every corner of the globe holds an adventure waiting just for you. Today, we're diving into a gem of the Indian Ocean, a place where history whispers through ancient ruins, nature flourishes in vibrant hues, and the warmth of the people leaves you feeling right at home. Yes, you guessed it. We're talking about the mesmerising island of Sri Lanka. Whether you're an experienced traveller or someone looking for your next great escape, Sri Lanka is a destination that truly has it all. From misty mountains and golden beaches to bustling cities and tranquil temples, this island is a tapestry of experiences waiting to be unravelled. So buckle up as we explore the top 10 must-visit spots in this beautiful country. And don't forget, our Atlas tips are here to make sure you navigate these destinations like a pro. Number one, Colombo. Colombo isn't just a city. It's an explosion of culture, history and modern vibrancy all rolled into one. Imagine stepping off the plane and immediately being hit by the city's electric energy, a blend of the old world charm and contemporary hustle that makes Colombo so unique. Picture yourself wandering through the streets, where centuries-old colonial architecture stands shoulder to shoulder with shiny new skyscrapers. It's a city where you can sip on a fresh king coconut by the roadside and just a few steps away find yourself in a high-end restaurant enjoying a fusion of global flavours. One moment, you're at Gangra Maya Temple, surrounded by the scent of incense and the peaceful hum of prayers, a spiritual oasis in the heart of the city. The next, you're at Galaface Green, where the sun sets in a blaze of orange and pink, painting the sky with colours that reflect the vibrancy of the city itself. And if you're craving a real taste of Colombo, Peta Market is your go-to. It's chaotic, loud and completely exhilarating. With stalls overflowing with fresh produce, spices and all sorts of trinkets that make perfect souvenirs. Atlas tip. Don't rush through Colombo. Take the time to savour its contrasts. Start your day with a traditional Sri Lankan breakfast of hoppers and sambal at a local eatery. And later, enjoy a sunset cocktail at a rooftop bar with a panoramic view of the city. The beauty of Colombo lies in these little moments that capture the essence of Sri Lanka in all its glory. Number two, Kandy. Now, let's take a scenic train ride up to Kandy, the jewel of Sri Lanka's cultural crown. Nestled amidst lush hills, Kandy is like stepping into a world where time slows down and every corner has a story to tell. As you approach, you'll see Kandy Lake glimmering in the sunlight, surrounded by palm trees that sway gently in the breeze. This is the kind of place that makes you want to pause, take a deep breath and just soak in the beauty around you. At the heart of Kandy lies the temple of the sacred tooth relic, a sacred site that holds one of Buddhism's most revered relics. Walking through the temple, you'll feel the weight of history in the air, mixed with the sweet scent of flowers and the sound of soft chanting. It's a place that invites reflection, offering a peaceful escape from the hustle of everyday life. But Kandy isn't just about history. It's a living, breathing city where traditions are celebrated with vibrant energy. In the evening, you can immerse yourself in the rhythm of traditional Kandyan dance, where performers in elaborate costumes move to the beat of drums in a way that's both powerful and graceful. And let's not forget the Peridonea Botanical Gardens, where you can wander through paths lined with towering palms and exotic plants, losing yourself in the beauty of nature. Atlas Tip Make time for a visit to a local tea plantation. Candy's cool climate makes it perfect for growing some of the best tea in the world. Take a tour, learn about the tea making process and savour a freshly brewed cup right on the estate. It's an experience that's as enriching as it is relaxing and one that you'll remember long after you've left. Number three, Sigiriya. Next, prepare to be awed by Sigiriya the ancient rock fortress that's unlike anything you've ever seen. Imagine a colossal rock rising nearly 200 metres above the surrounding plains, with the ruins of an ancient civilization clinging to its steep sides. This is Sigiriya, 
a place where history and legend intertwine to create one of Sri Lanka's most iconic landmarks. As you start your climb, you'll pass through the famous Lion Gate, once guarded by a giant stone lion, of which only the paws remain today. The ascent is steep, but every step brings you closer to the breathtaking views at the top. Along the way, you'll encounter ancient frescoes, vivid paintings of celestial maidens that have survived centuries, their colours still striking against the rock face. These frescoes are a testament to the artistry and craftsmanship of the people who lived here so long ago. Reaching the summit is a reward in itself. From here you can see for miles with the lush forests and distant mountains stretching out before you. It's easy to see why this was chosen as the site for a royal palace. It feels like you're on top of the world, looking down on a kingdom. And as you explore the ruins at the top, it's not hard to imagine what life was like here in the 5th century, with palaces, gardens and even a royal swimming pool built into the rock. Atlas tip. For an even more incredible experience, visit Sigeria at sunrise. The early morning light bathes the rock and surrounding landscape in a golden glow, and the cooler temperatures make the climb much more enjoyable. Also, don't miss a hike to nearby Pidurangala Rock. It offers a less crowded but equally spectacular view of Sigiriya itself, perfect for those postcard-worthy photos. Number 4. Gala. Stepping into Gal is like entering a time capsule where history, culture and charm converge to create an experience you won't find anywhere else in Sri Lanka. The moment you walk through the gates of Gala Fort, you'll feel like you've been transported back to the 17th century. Built by the Portuguese and later fortified by the Dutch, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is a maze of cobblestone streets, historic buildings and hidden courtyards waiting to be explored. Gala Fort isn't just a relic of the past, it's a living, breathing community. Wander through its narrow alleys, and you'll discover boutique shops offering everything from handcrafted jewellery to vibrant batik textiles. The fort is also home to some of the island's most charming cafes and restaurants, where you can sip on a freshly brewed coffee while watching the world go by. Don't miss the iconic lighthouse, standing tall against the backdrop of the Indian Ocean a perfect spot for a sunset stroll. But Gala is more than just a pretty face. The fort is brimming with stories of battles, trade and cultural exchanges. Visit the Dutch Reformed Church, where you can see centuries-old tombstones that tell tales of the European settlers who once called this place home. The Gala Maritime Museum offers a fascinating glimpse into the maritime history of the region, from ancient shipwrecks to the spice trade that put Sri Lanka on the map. Atlas tip. Take a leisurely bike ride around the fort's ramparts for a unique perspective of the town. And if you're looking for a bit of relaxation after all that exploring, head to one of the nearby beaches like Unawatuna or Jungle Beach, where the calm waters and golden sands provide the perfect escape. Number 5. Nuwara Elia, Sri Lanka's Serene Highlands. If you're craving a break from the tropical heat, Nuwara Elia, with its cool, misty climate, is the perfect retreat. Known as Little England for its colonial-era architecture and manicured gardens, this highland town is like a breath of fresh air, literally and figuratively. Imagine waking up to the sight of rolling green hills covered in tea plantations, the scent of fresh tea leaves wafting through the air, and the sound of birdsong as you step out onto your balcony. Nuwara Elia is all about taking things slow and savouring the moment. Start your day with a leisurely stroll through Victoria Park, where the vibrant flowers and well-maintained lawns create a serene atmosphere that's perfect for a morning walk. If you're up for a bit of adventure, head to Horton Plains National Park, home to the famous World's End, a sheer cliff with a drop of about 4,000 feet that offers one of the most breathtaking views in Sri Lanka. But what truly sets Nuwara Elia apart is its tea. This region produces some of the finest Ceylon tea in the world, and no trip here would be complete without a visit to one of the many tea plantations. Tour the fields, learn about the tea making process, and enjoy a freshly brewed cup right at the source. It's an experience that not only delights the senses, 
but also offers a deep appreciation for the hard work that goes into every sip. Atlas tip. Visit during the Nuwara Elia season in April when the town comes alive with horse races, flower shows and even a few golf tournaments. The colonial charm is at its peak and the cool climate makes it a refreshing escape from the heat of the lowlands. Number 6. Ella. Ella is where you go to lose yourself in nature and find your soul. This small laid-back town in the central highlands is a haven for travellers looking to unwind and reconnect with the great outdoors. Surrounded by lush green hills, tea plantations and waterfalls, Ella offers some of the most stunning scenery in Sri Lanka. And the best part? You don't need to be a hardcore adventurer to enjoy it. One of the highlights of Ella is the famous Nine Arches Bridge, a marvel of colonial era engineering that's become one of the most photographed spots in Sri Lanka. Picture this, a beautiful stone bridge surrounded by dense jungle, with a colorful train slowly making its way across, the whistle echoing through the valley. It's the kind of scene that makes you stop in your tracks and simply take in the beauty around you. But the magic of Ella doesn't stop there. Lace up your hiking boots and take on the challenge of Little Adam's Peak. It's a relatively easy hike that rewards you with panoramic views of the surrounding valleys and tea plantations. As you stand at the peak, the cool breeze on your face and the vast landscape stretching out before you, you'll feel like you're on top of the world. For a more relaxed day, visit Ravana Falls, where you can cool off in the refreshing waters or simply sit back and enjoy the tranquil surroundings. Atlas tip, Ella is also a foodie's paradise, so make sure to explore the local cuisine. Try a traditional Sri Lankan rice and curry, or indulge in a plate of kotu, a local favorite made from chopped roti, vegetables, and your choice of meat or eggs. And if you're up for a unique experience, join a cooking class to learn how to make these delicious dishes yourself. Number seven, Yala National Park. Yala National Park isn't just a place, it's a thrilling safari experience that will have you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. Imagine waking up before dawn, the air still cool and crisp as you set off in an open top jeep with the sun just beginning to rise. The anticipation is palpable as you enter the park, a vast wilderness where nature reigns supreme. Yala is famed for its leopard population. It's one of the best places in the world to spot these elusive big cats in the wild. But that's just the beginning. As you journey deeper into the park, keep your eyes peeled for majestic elephants moving silently through the trees, sloth bears foraging for food, and an array of vibrant bird life that will make any birder's heart skip a beat. Every rustle in the bushes, every movement in the tall grass, could be the start of an unforgettable encounter. But Yala isn't just about the thrill of the chase, it's also a place of serene beauty. The park's varied landscapes, from dense forests and open grasslands to rocky outcrops and serene lagoons, are breathtakingly beautiful. And then there's the sense of peace that comes with being surrounded by nature, far from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Atlas. Tip. For the best chance of spotting wildlife, book a safari during the early morning or late afternoon when the animals are most active. And if you're up for an adventure, consider spending a night at a campsite within the park. There's nothing quite like falling asleep to the sounds of the wild all around you. Number 8. Anuradhapura. Step into the ancient city of Anuradhapura and you'll find yourself surrounded by the echoes of a glorious past. This is not just a city, it's a living museum where history comes alive in the form of towering stupas, sacred temples and ancient ruins that stretch as far as the eye can see. As one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Anuradhapura offers a rare glimpse into Sri Lanka's rich heritage. The city is most famous for the Sri Mahabodhi, a sacred fig tree believed to be a sapling from the original Bodhi tree under which Buddha attained enlightenment. This tree is over 2,000 years old and is one of the most revered sites in Buddhism. As you stand in its shade, 
you can feel the profound sense of peace and spirituality that pervades this ancient city. Anuradhapura is also home to some of the most impressive stupas in Sri Lanka, including the massive Ruanwelisaya stupa, which stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Sinhalese. Explore the sprawling ruins of monasteries, palaces, and statues that tell the story of a civilization that was once at the height of its power and influence. Atlas tip. Hire a bicycle to explore Anuradhapura's extensive archaeological sites. This allows you to cover more ground while soaking in the tranquil atmosphere of the ancient city. Make sure to visit the sites early in the morning or late in the afternoon to avoid the midday heat and crowds. Number 9. Marissa. Marissa is the epitome of beach bliss, a tropical paradise where the days are long, the waves are perfect, and the sunsets are nothing short of magical. If you're looking to escape to a place where you can unwind and let your worries melt away, Marissa is the destination for you. With its golden sands, swaying palm trees, and crystal clear waters, it's no wonder that this coastal town has become one of Sri Lanka's most beloved beach destinations. But Marissa is more than just a pretty beach. It's also one of the best places in the world to go whale watching. Imagine setting out on a boat at dawn, the sea calm and the sky gradually lightening as you keep a lookout for the telltale spout of a blue whale, the largest animal on the planet. Seeing one of these magnificent creatures up close is a once in a lifetime experience that will leave you in awe of the wonders of the ocean. After a morning of adventure, spend the afternoon lounging on Marissa Beach where the warm sand and gentle waves provide the perfect backdrop for relaxation. If you're feeling adventurous, try your hand at surfing or snorkeling. Marissa's waters are teeming with marine life just waiting to be discovered. And when the day draws to a close, head to Coconut Tree Hill, a short climb that rewards you with panoramic views of the coastline, especially at sunset. Atlas. Tip. Don't miss the opportunity to dine at one of the beachside cafes or restaurants. Fresh seafood is the highlight here. Grilled fish, prawns and crabs served with a side of the stunning ocean view. And if you're in the mood for something sweet, try a king coconut or a freshly made smoothie. Number 10. Polonarua. Polonarua is like stepping into a time machine where you'll find yourself in the midst of a city that once thrived as a royal capital over 800 years ago. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is one of the best preserved archaeological cities in Sri Lanka, offering a fascinating glimpse into the island's medieval history. As you wander through the ancient ruins, you can almost hear the whispers of the past echoing through the stone walls. The city is divided into two main sections. The quadrangle, where you'll find some of the most important religious monuments, and the larger city area, which includes the royal palace, council chambers and various temples. The highlight of Polonarua is undoubtedly the Galvihara, a group of four colossal Buddha statues carved into a single granite rock. These statues are considered masterpieces of Sinhalese rock carving and are some of the most impressive in Sri Lanka. Polonarua is also home to the Polonarua Vatadage, an ancient circular relic house with intricately carved stone steps and pillars that once housed the sacred tooth relic. As you explore these ancient sites, you'll be struck by the skill and artistry of the craftsmen who created them, as well as the sense of tranquility that still pervades the area today. Atlas Tip A cycling tour is the best way to explore Polonarua's extensive archaeological sites. The terrain is mostly flat, making it an easy and enjoyable ride, and cycling allows you to take your time and truly appreciate the beauty and history around you. Be sure to bring plenty of water and a hat, as the midday sun can be intense. Before you embark on your Sri Lankan adventure, here are a few Atlas tips to keep in mind. Our number one tip for travelling between regions is to take the train. Sri Lanka's train journeys, especially from Kandy to Ella, are considered some of the most scenic in the world. Definitely worth taking. The island has two monsoon seasons, so plan your trip accordingly. The best times to travel are December to March is ideal for the west and south coasts, while May to September is perfect for the east coast. Lastly, when visiting temples, dress modestly and be respectful. 
It's also customary to remove your shoes before entering sacred sites. Sri Lanka is more than just a destination. It's an experience that touches your soul. From the bustling streets of Colombo to the ancient cities of Anuradhapura and Polonnaruwa, every corner of this island has something special to offer. Whether you're chasing adventure, seeking peace, or just looking to explore, Sri Lanka welcomes you with open arms. If you've been to Sri Lanka, we'd love to hear about your favourite places in the comments below. And if not, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and share this video with anyone who needs a little travel inspiration. Until next time, keep exploring, fellow wanderers. Thanks for tuning in to Alluring Atlas. Big shout out to everyone who shared their Sri Lanka experiences that inspired this video. Keep your eyes peeled for our next episode, where we'll be diving into another incredible destination. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more travel tales and tips. Safe travels and see you in the next adventure.